Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to replace the spark plugs on your Kawasaki Vulcan 800. And by the way, this is a 2005 Kawasaki Vulcan 800. And the same procedure will apply to many other years of these 800 Vulcans. Now the first thing you want to do is remove the seat and there is an 8mm bolt at the back. I already had it loose, that's why I've got it out like this. And I'll just remove the seat. Now what you want to do is remove the 12 millimeter bolt at the bottom of the fuel tank here. Now you need to remove the 8 millimeter bolt holding your dash on the fuel tank. And just push it forward and it's going to come off. Now what you want to do is disconnect the fuel line and the impulse line over here. Now if the fuel line won't come off, just grab it lightly with pliers and turn it back and forth. And then you can pry it down with a flat screwdriver, just be careful doing this. There will be a bit of fuel that will spill, but it will stop. Now I'm going to remove the impulse line. And now before removing the fuel tank, you need to disconnect the speedometer cable underneath the dash. And then disconnect these two plugs here. Now your dash will come right off. Once you have the dash off, there is another 12 millimeter bolt here holding the fuel tank. Now the last two things to take off before we can remove the fuel tank are these two vent hoses over here. They're connected right underneath the fuel tank. And now to remove the fuel tank, just grab the bottom here, the top over here, lift up. And now you're going to have better access to the engine to remove those spark plugs. So the spark plugs on this bike are located over here. And then if you go to the other cylinder, it's located right there. I'm going to start by replacing the front plug, just pull the cap out. Now you're going to need a 5.8 spark plug socket to remove the spark plugs. And I've got a 4 inch extension here, but I'm only going to put it in once the socket is part way in. I'm just going to put the socket right in there. I'm going to use my extension, hook it in, go in with my ratchet. It's a bit awkward getting the plug out because of the space restrictions. So now I'm going to pull out the extension. And now to retrieve the spark plug, I'm just going to go in with the spark plug cap. Once you've got the cap hooked into the plug, just pull out. And here's the first plug, it's pretty black. It's a CR7E from NGK. To remove the second plug, just reach in and pull out the spark plug cap here. Now with your socket and an extension, just reach in and remove that plug. Now if you're using a good spark plug socket, you will be able to just retrieve the plug with the plug stuck in the socket. And here's a quick look at the second plug. And I believe these were the two original spark plugs in the bike. The bike now has 9,000 kilometers. And again, here's the number on these plugs, CR7E. And I'm replacing them with NGK CR7EIX and their iridium plugs. Now the NGK Iridium will cost a bit more than the NGK R's. I'm not exactly sure of the benefits of putting the CR7EIX Iridium plugs, 
but because it's so much work replacing the plugs in this bike I just thought I might as well get the more expensive ones it wasn't quite that much more and maybe it's going to help out with different things and here's a close-up look of these plugs it's got a tiny electrode in there and I am leaving the gap as it is coming out of the box the gap is at about 28 thousandths of an inch and that's pretty well what it recommends in my Kawasaki service manual for this bike here it shows the gap in metric 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters and if I look at my feeler gauge here at 0 0.028 thousandths of an inch it's pretty well equal to this here and for tightening up the spark plugs the torque that you want is all here so I'm going to go at 13.0 foot-pounds today and usually the plugs coming out of the boxes will be set at this gap already but you can also double check it with the feeler gauge now before reinstalling these plugs make sure to take off the cap at the top and now insert your new plug into your 16 millimeter or 5.8 spark plug socket now I'm going to insert it down into the cylinder I'm just going to snug it by hand here and I've got my torque wrench set at 13 foot-pounds or 156 inch-pounds and I'll torque it accordingly and I'm also going to add some dielectric grease I'm just adding dielectric grease just to get a better connection to prevent corrosion and to stop the spark from going elsewhere and now just reconnect the spark plug boot on the front here I'm going to start by adding dielectric grease again and make sure to wipe your hands really good if you use that stuff now on this side it's the trickier plug to install so make sure it's in your spark plug socket well I'm going to insert it into the head like this I'm just going to let it drop and I'm going to go in with my extension clip it into the socket I'm just going to snug it by hand here and now with your torque wrench just torque it accordingly again we're doing 156 inch pounds or 13 foot pounds and when you're installing new plugs the new washer will squeeze a bit or squash itself so you will be tightening a bit and we got the clip and now what you want to do is just remove the ratchet and if it's a bit tight just hold the extension with pliers now I'm just going to go and retrieve the socket I'm going to hook back into it pull it up and you can see the spark plug socket here I'm going to hold it with pliers and remove the extension and now I'll just pull the socket out and I'm going to reconnect the spark plug boot so now we have the spark plugs installed before I put the tank back on I will check the condition of the coolant and this is where the cap for your coolant is and the coolant has a good color and it's good up to minus 43 45 so that's great and now just reinstall your fuel tank now these breather hoses here go on to a hook underneath the fuel tank you want to get them in there it just keeps them out of the way and what you want to do over here is just reach up and connect them back to the connectors and I'm going to reinstall the bolt at the top here and again it's a 12 millimeter socket and I'm going to install the one over here and I'm going to reconnect these connectors on the dash here
and now reconnect the speedometer cable back to the speedometer here. And just tighten it up by hand, that's all. Now reinstall the dash and there is a clip under here that does go into here. You'll know it's clipped in when it's locked in like this. Now install the 8mm bolt. Now reinstall the seat. You want to get this clip here underneath the fuel tank there. And now reinstall the bolt at the back of the seat and just tighten it up. And now reconnect that impulse line. So that's all there is guys to replacing the spark plugs on your Kawasaki Vulcan 800. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.